Good evening, everybody. We have the release of LFS PDFR version 0 0.3. Um, there's going to be a lot of new changes and a lot of things you're going to have to remove from your LFS PDFR folder to make the game work. Otherwise, if you do not, the game is incompatible and your game will crash. So basically, what you're going to need to do is you click on this little download now. You go into here. And this is going to be everything that's new. Uh, new police garage. Uh, police garage, you can select new vehicle, pursuits, all sorts of crazy stuff you can change and modify. And there's also, yeah, just look at that, read that, because there's a lot of new things, crazy new things in the game. Alright, so now we're going to click the download this file now. And then when you go to download this file, you can support them by doing the ad supported um, installer or um, not at support it. or you can do the manual install yourself but uh, I just choose one of the installers it's 20 times easier so once you download that I've already downloaded it you'll get a file that looks like this that's zipped in a zip folder so you're gonna have to right click and then uh, extract all files and then you open up this zero dash underscore a free setup alternative and then all you do is you click and run that it's going to run you through the process it's going to install the, uh, the lspdfr uh, updated modification for you it's going to replace all the files in your gta folder for you very easy very painless uh, and kudos to the lspdfr team for doing that it helps a lot okay so now when you go into your GTA 5 primary folder the, with the GTA 5 application.exe um, file, when you go into your plugins file, all your plugins in here should work still and shouldn't cause issues. So that should. And so far, all of mine have. And so, but here's the problem when you go into LSPDFR, any of the plugins you had in here, will cause issues. So let's see, these are all the plugins I had in that LSPDFR folder. And these are mostly just callouts. So until that callout is updated, you're gonna have to remove it from that folder. For me, what I did to remember everything I have is I just highlighted and drug it into another folder I created on my desktop. That way I can remember all the files I have and it's that way I can go look them up as I wish to see if they're updated. This one was updated already, so I just looked up Code 3 callouts, found the one I was uh, using, and updated it, and reinstalled it and everything. So I'm, I'm good to go on that uh, file. Everything else, I'm still waiting on an update for. So, yeah, still waiting on an update. Um, once you do that, your game should be set up, and when you run your game, you're going to run into a if you run into an issue where LSPDFR crashes, it's more than likely going to be a plugin causing the issue. If you click F4, uh, your Rage console, you should be able to see the crash report. And you gotta click that quick, otherwise more stuff will show up. Um, if you click that, it will kind of show you a bunch of text that says LSPDFR, and it will show you a crash report. And you'll be able to kind of see if there's a file name in there that caused the crash. Uh, if not, you can go right above all that text and see what the game was trying to load right before the game crashed. And it will give you some sort of indication as to why the game crashed. So other than that, uh, it's very easy, simple to install on your own. Uh, it's, it's, again, since it's a manual installer, all you do is click the application and runs it. Um, very easy. So. Uh, if you guys have any problems, please comment below or go on to the LSPDFR forums and comment and see if maybe the, uh, the issue is already answered there. Uh, uh, please like, comment, subscribe for more content. I'll be posting more daily content. I'm going to be posting more uh, gameplay tutorials of the new LSPDFR version uh, here in the next day or two. So stay posted for that. Other than that, I hope you guys have a nice evening. I'm out.